Have you heard of this game called as Draw Physics Lines? It was this very popular game back in 2017 where the goal was to push a ball into a cup by drawing lines. I thought why not remake this in 3D? It would be such a cool mechanic to try out in XR, right? I mean just imagine, you can spawn a ball on your table or on your bed and you can spawn the cup on your floor and then you will have to draw lines in your 3D space and push it into that cup. So cool, right? So the first step towards this is to be able to draw in XR. And in this video, I'll show you how you can use your hands to draw in 3D space. And later, we'll see how to add physics to it as well. Alright then, let's get started. So here I have my Unity project open which has been set up with the latest Meta XR all-in-one SDK. And it has been set up with all the player settings. Now you can also download this project from the github link provided in the description below or you can set it up from your scratch by checking out this video over here. Now to set up a scene in the project window search for large row. Set the search to all, select the prefab and add it to your scene. Then in your project folder search for skybox. Select the skybox gradient material and add this to your scene as well. Next let's add camera rig and hand tracking by navigating inside meta tools building blocks. From this window, we'll add the camera rig block, the hand tracking block and scroll all the way down and add the virtual hands block as well. Then you can close this window and as you can see here, the building blocks have created the camera rig game object with a tracking space to track our headset, left controller hands, right controller hands and it shows us the hand visuals as well. Now to draw lines, we can make use of the line renderer component and update its position based on the position of our hands. But then line renderer has a billboard kind of effect in XR which causes jittering when you try to look around it. So after some research, I found this script from Metea which generates tube mesh and this is exactly what I was looking for. So I took this script, I took a drawing logic script from Dilma and modified both of them for our use case. Now you can find the links for these reference scripts and the scripts that I'm using in this video in the description below. Alright, so import the tube renderer and the XR hand draw script into Unity and let's see how it works. Here we have the tube renderer script. Now in order to render any mesh, we require two components, a mesh filter and a mesh renderer. So first we check if these components exist. If not, then we're going to create them and configure them. And along with them, we are also going to see if there's a mesh collider. If not, we're going to add that as well. Then this has a method to set position, which is going to take a position and generate the mesh. Next, we have the hand draw script, which has a bunch of variables to reference different parameters. So on start, we are going to get the OVR hand and OVR skeleton based on the tracking hand that we have provided and create a new tube renderer. When this method is called, it's going to create a new game object and add the tube renderer component. Now remember that when you add this component, if it does not have a mesh renderer, mesh filter and a mesh collider, it's going to add it automatically. Once that's done, it's going to get the reference of the mesh renderer, update its material and it's going to configure the tube renderer. Next, in the update method, we are checking if the hand is being tracked. If it is, then we are going to check the pinch state. So in this method, first it's going to check if the hand is pinching. If it is, then it's going to check the pinch strength. And if the pin strength is more than the minimum value that we have provided, then it's going to update the mesh of the tube. And once you release the pinch, it's no longer going to update the old tube renderer. Instead, it's going to create a new tube renderer. So the next time you pinch your hand, it's going to follow the whole process once again. Now this script also has some additional methods that you can use if you want to update its width, color or minimum distance at runtime. So here we are back in Unity. Now to implement hand draw, let's right click and create an empty game object and call it as XR hand draw. Add the XR hand draw component to it. We need the tracking hand. For now, we'll go inside the camera rig, tracking space, right hand anchor, select right hand tracking and drag and drop it in here. Now we need to create a material for the default line. So we can right click in your project window, click on create and create a material. Call this as line material. Select a color of your choice and then go back to the XR hand draw game object and drag and drop this material in here. And that's about it. You can save your scene, connect your headset using link or air link. If you're not sure how that's done, you can check out this video over here and press the play button. Now, as you can see here in the Unity editor, it has created a new game object called Tube Renderer and it has added the tube renderer script along with all the other components that are required. So now when I pinch my hand and move in the 3D space, you can see that it's updating the tube renderer's position and it's creating this mesh as well, which looks really cool. And then when I release the pinch, it's going to create the next tube renderer component and this is going to be prepared for the next pinch. So if I pinch over here and draw, you see that this tube renderer position is getting updated 
and the mesh is being drawn as well. All right, now to add physics to the render tubes, all you need to do is check this box to enable gravity. And now when you press play and test it, you will be able to draw lines to create 3D objects that fall down on your table to follow physics rules. Super cool, right? All right, so that's it for this video. If you found this video to be helpful, then make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.